With a PC running Windows 11 and a Microsoft Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you could be well on your way to enjoying cloud gaming from almost anywhere. You'll need a copy of Windows 11 installed, at least you will for the purposes of this video, but you can use other platforms like an iPad for example. Now next you'll obviously need internet access and that connection to the Microsoft Cloud has to be a pretty decent one. And if you happen to be connecting to a wireless network, Microsoft do recommend that it is a 5 GHz network. Now finally, you'll need a controller to connect to your PC. I'm going to be using this Xbox Elite 2 controller connected via Bluetooth, but any modern Xbox controller should do as long as you can connect it wirelessly or via Bluetooth to your PC. Oh. And you can even use your Sony PlayStation controller as well. Okay, next we're going to head off to the Microsoft Store in Windows 11. And up the top in the search box, we're simply going to type in Xbox and we're going to choose the Xbox app. We'll first need to install that. Now, once you've installed it, we'll just simply click Open. Now, if you are an Xbox user and a Game Pass subscriber, you're going to be very familiar with this store. Here's where we can download all of our games and applications to our Xbox. The difference here with cloud gaming is we're not directly downloading the games to our Xbox, we're playing them live over the internet. Okay, well let's click cloud gaming and at the top here it's going to tell us if we have a controller that's been detected. Obviously that's a requirement and we also need a network connection because we're going to be playing these games over the internet much like streaming a movie from Netflix. Alright, so now the hard part and that's going to be choosing a game to play because there's a lot of games here as you can see so let's just pick something I guess that I'm familiar with so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a copy of Wreckfest because I've certainly played that a few times on my own Xbox Series X so what we're gonna do here is you'll see we've got this big play button here and obviously it's gonna play a little bit of a, a trailer of the game to see if that's something that we're interested in I already know this game I am familiar with it so let's click play my initial impression of this cloud service is that the games do take a little while to load but if we're comparing that against installing it on the regular Xbox well obviously this is really really quick now because this is a game I've played on my Xbox before, you can see I'm currently at level 28 and if I go into the career mode, you can also see that I've currently completed these first four sections and I'm down to the World Masters. So let's click that and we'll go and choose something I haven't yet started. So we'll say this one here, Champion of Champions. So let's hit A, we'll hit A again to start this. Okay, we're there. That took around about a minute to load this particular track. So let's hit A. I'm just going to go with the defaults and let's just give it a little bit of a whirl and just see what it's like. I'm, I'm obviously revving out the, the car at the moment and it seems to be very responsive. And so left, right, left, right, left. I mean, it's, it's doing everything you would expect it to do. I mean, this really does feel like I'm playing on a regular Xbox. It's amazing. You know, I mean, I, I would have expected a, fit, a fair bit of lag or latency, you know, when I'm doing something here for it to actually show on the screen, but I'm not getting any of it. Nothing at all. It is absolutely doing what I would expect. Okay, there's a tiny little bit of pixelation I got there, but that's probably a combination of uh, network and the amount of data that's coming down the pipeline, but this is absolutely amazing. I'm also getting the, the feedback in the joystick as well. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, look, it's absolutely amazing. It does everything that you would expect it to do. I mean, this really honestly feels like I'm just sitting in front of my Xbox playing the regular game. So, all right. Now, but this is a game that obviously I am familiar with. And by the way, one of the really cool things about this uh, cloud service is that the anything that I unlock here, anything that I do here is going to be reflected back on my Xbox at home because everything I do or the achievements, the progress, anything is all bound to my Xbox account. So it doesn't matter whether I unlock something here in the cloud, as soon as I get back home and fire up my trusty Xbox, that is going to reflect there on that local account, which is just absolutely amazing. All right, well, let's get out of this game and we'll try something else. To exit a game, we'll go up to the top left of our screen and we've got a few options. We can mute the game, we can provide feedback to Microsoft, which is a good thing because it is a beta product at the moment. We can toggle full screen and obviously because this is on a PC, 
I can turn it into a window and we can quit the game. So let's quit the game and we'll go pick something else to play. Okay, so let's pick something that I've never played before. Certainly not on any of my Xboxes. So let's just pick a game like, let's just pick Mech Warrior 5. Not something I've played. Let's click play. All right, now game's starting to load. Now, one of the things I probably should point out at this point in time is if you're on the fence, go get yourself a Game Pass subscription, an Ultimate Game Pass subscription, and you're not gonna regret it. So let's press any button on our controller again. I'm gonna press the A button. Okay, let's play a single player game. We'll start a new campaign. We'd like to play the tutorial. Uh, let's just skip the tutorial. Who reads manuals anyway? All right, that was actually pretty quick to start this game. Let's just skip this intro. And I do remember playing Mech Warrior and games like this many, many years ago. So, okay, we're loading. Seems pretty quick this time around. All right, let's skip all of this if we can. All right, now here we are, obviously, playing the game. And again, it's it's very, very responsive. You know, I'm playing with the, the, the thumbsticks here, moving left, moving right, and, and it feels exactly like I'm just playing an Xbox game at home again. This is just terrific. Now, for reference, by the way, I am using a 5 gigahertz PC. It does have a NVIDIA 2080 Super video card. It's a little bit old nowadays, I know. Uh, it's got fast hard disks in there, fast SSD drives. Uh, it also has 128 gig of RAM. Now that's just for reference, but all of the heavy computing is done by Microsoft, not really on my PC. So even if you don't have the latest PC, you're gonna get some really, really great performance as long as you have one of these controllers and a decent network connection. And you know, I've gotta say it's, it's terrific not to have to download games, especially a game like this that I might not ordinarily play. And uh, I can give it a go if I like it, great. It's so simple. I can go anywhere, play the game, come home, continue the game. What a, what, a, what a terrific idea. So look, in summary, I'd have to say this. The only minor gripe I have is the load times are a little bit longer than perhaps I might want, but look, I don't have to install anything. All I have to do is just take my controller with me and have a copy of Windows 11 in this case, and I can play anything I like. I don't have to install anything. And that, my friends, is the most wonderful thing. So this cloud gaming is the future of gaming. It's awesome. It's here. And it's only going to get better. Make sure you check it out.